Welcome back to the Lab Robots. Tonight we have the stable on the channel, the 4060 Ti 16 gig GDDR6. It is an Ada Lovelace architecture that was released last year, mid last year or so. It has a TDP of about 165 watts. This is one of those great little cards with a built-in fan, takes up only a single slot, and doesn't use a lot of power. I've always said in my videos that I think that these cards are a good buy for the value and the speed that they give you even on LLMs. They cost about $459 a piece or so when I bought mine. I will show you guys here on Amazon the exact cards that we're using. It is a Virto OC dual fan 4060 Ti with 16 gigs of RAM. Today, these tests, since we're going to be running from Q3, Q4, Q5, Q6, Q8, all the way up to FP16, which we should have no problem doing on these cards, we are going to do a quick and fast, and I will let you guys feel each quant at the beginning and at the end of each test, but otherwise we are going to fast forward through all the tests, try to do a very short video on this, and we'll come back, get all the results, what they look like compared to each other, and then we will take those results and add them to the leaderboard. And then we can see where the 4060 lands on the leaderboard. Uh, currently on the leaderboard, these 4060s will pretty much squash everything, and I think we all know that. But this is kind of our de facto card in the lab. So let's go ahead and run it through its paces. We're starting off with Q3 right now behind us in the scenes. It's going to take a moment to load up and then we'll get into it. I've noticed we've had a lot of new subscribers. I want to say welcome to everyone. This is a crazy engineer working in his home lab with a whole bunch of GPUs and Kubernetes. We test out GPUs. We test out LLMs. We're here to have a bunch of fun. Don't take anything I say as word of advice. I'm just putting data right in front of you guys. So now that we can see that it actually is loading up, it should start responding to us any moment. There we go. Moving pretty fast. Mistral's a pretty quick model, we all know that. So this is the Q3 quant, so it's going to be moving even more quick than what we would normally expect. 57 tokens per second was that first one. So let's go ahead and jump right into fast forward. I'll let you guys see it when it settles down. And then we'll go from there. Here's it all settled down after 19 tests. Still cruising right along. It's been using about 145 watts during this test, so we will write that down for the leaderboard. And the final one comes in at about 47 tokens per second is where it settled out at. So let's go right into Q4, and we will quickly rinse and repeat this. Okay, this is the Q4 quant loading up. Should start any second now, and we can get a look at how it feels when it starts out, which is always the fastest, but that's why we test at least 20 of these to let it settle down to an average. You always hear people pulling out the fastest. They're like the very first one that they run, rather than the average over a lot of inference. That was 48 tokens per second on the Q4. Let's go ahead and jump this into fast forward and I'll, we'll come back real quick. And here it is after those 19 tests, after it's settled down. How does that feel to you guys? Q4 KM. And let's see what it finishes off the test as. Looking good though, looking good fell down to about 41 tokens per second on the Q4. Let's go ahead and get the Q5 model set up after we produce this report and go right straight into Q5. All right, report generated. Let's get the model all set up, cycle the pod out for some fresh results. We do this every single time. Go select the Q5 model. Make sure we change the report name and get this kicked off. And there it goes loading up. 
Give this just a second till it starts responding. Using about six and a half gigabytes of VRAM on the Q5. And there it goes. Still feels quite good to me. Cruising right along. First one back at about 42 tokens per second. So let's kick it into fast forward mode and we'll come back at the very end of this and let you guys feel what Q5 settles out like. And there's the end of this. This is Q5. Settle down after the first 19 runs. This is test number 20. If you're curious, it's been using oh, about 127 to 130 watts on average. And is about 36 tokens per second on the Q5. Let's go ahead and produce this report and get the model set up for the Q6 run. All right, let's get Q6 kicked off here. There it goes. Looking pretty good still. Yeah, cruising right along. First one back at 38 tokens per second. Let's kick this into fast forward mode and continue on. All right, here's the end of the Q6 after it settled down. Been using about 130, 132 watts. Let's see what it settles out to. How did it feel to you guys? Settled down to about 33 tokens per second. Not too bad. Not too bad for a Q6 on the 4060. Let's go ahead and jump right into Q8 after we produce the report and cycle the pod like we normally do, and we'll get started here. And here's the start to the Q8 quant. Using close to 9 gigabytes of VRAM at the moment. But looks to be cruising right along. Let's see what this first one settles out to be. About 30 tokens per second. At the end, these are evaluation tokens per second. And here we are at the end of the test. Still cruising right along. On average, we were seeing about, oh, 110 to 120 watts there. Ending at about just under 28 tokens per second. All right, let's generate that report, and then we'll move on to the very last test before we bring all of these results together, and then throw them on the leaderboard to see where the 4060 lands. So we're going to cycle the pod. We're going to go set up the FT FP16 model and run that test. Okay, selecting the model up. Change the report name, and let's go ahead and kick off the same exact test with the FP16 model. And there it starts out. Still, again, looking quite good. These 4060s, pretty decent little cards, I'll still say it. Let's see where this first test lands out, and then we'll come right back at the end to see where it actually averages out to be. It's 
17 and a half tokens per second on the first one in the full FP16. And this is the 20th test on the FP16. Again, still looks to be cruising right along. Using just over 100, 103, 104 watts during inference. Not bad, not bad at all, huh? All right, let's see where this last one finishes out. And then we'll bring all of this data into one report and take a look at where we ended up across the different quants. 16 and a half tokens per second, it looks like, at the very end. Let's go ahead and produce this last report. We'll get the screen enlarged for you guys so that you can see it a little bit better. And we will go take the reports of Q3, Q4, Q5, Q6, Q8, and FP16 and put them on one graph in front of us. Name it ML4060 TI. 16 gig because there is a, an 8 gig model of this card too. Hit combine files. And let's hop over and take a quick look at the reports. Go ahead and pull up that 4060 report here. ML 4060. 16 gig. There it is. Go ahead and take a look at the initial prompt evaluation time. This will show you the initial loading time across the different quants. That's the reason why we keep it that way for the now. Normally I leave those off so we can get a little bit of a different uh, or smaller scale of measurement, but for the leaderboard test we leave it on. Here's the evaluation time. This is the total time. Prompt tokens evaluated is 111 across the board for all of them. The completion tokens are gonna to mimic the length of your response. And you can see that's pretty tight across all the different quants. Total tokens are gonna to be the prompt and completion tokens added together. Here's our prompt tokens per second. You can see the in brown, the FP16 is a little bit lower, but boy, are the rest of the quants really gathered up right there. Evaluation tokens per second. Okay, this is what everyone wants. In brown, FP16. In purple, the Q8. In red, the Q6. Green, the Q5. In orange, the Q4. And blue, the Q3 at the very top. So we have a range. And you can see that from like FP16 down there at 16 tokens per second to Q3 at about 50 tokens per second. Okay, give me a second just to go live update the leaderboard. Just wanted to show you guys, you can come see the leaderboard at robotf.ai. You can also see all the reports that we're going to run under here, just like we do in these videos. So in case you can't really see and you want to take a closer look, just come grab them off my site. All right, we're going to go ahead and start with the Q3 model and take a look at those results in general. As we can see, the 4060 has definitely taken first place with a monstrous 49 evaluation tokens per second. And did so while using about 142 watts. Let's go take a look at Q4. Again, same story. The 4060 Ti is now in first place on our leaderboard with about 43.22 evaluation tokens per second. 
and about 125 watts on average power consumption. Not bad, not bad at all guys. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Q5. Again, as expected, the 4060 Ti in first place with about 36 and a half tokens per second and 124 watts of power consumption. Again, still not bad. Not bad at all. Q6. We're starting to get up there. Still, first place, 34 evaluation tokens per second, 132 watts. Let's go take a look at Q8 leaderboard. And again, as we expect, the 4060 will be at the top. Not for long, I can tell you guys that. 28.347 tokens per second at about 110 watts of power consumption. And the last one, the full FP16, basically maxing out the VRAM on these cards. The 4060 is definitely in first place, but just barely. 16.77 tokens per second, 104 watts for power consumption, just barely over that Tesla M40. Hopefully you guys like the little bit shorter videos, and uh, we'll keep this rolling. Got much more cards to test. Just remember, get some pizza with your AI. It will help your relationship. Till next time.